So on the last video, I asked what do people want to see? And a lot of people said what I eat in a day. Um, I've got a session today, so I thought today would be a good day to do it. It's currently just gone 9am and I'm having some porridge and some orange juice. I would normally have a coffee. I haven't had a coffee because I've been told in the past if you have coffees um, consistently, like once, twice, three times a day, the effects of the coffee sort of start to wear off and you become more dependent on it rather than actually just feeling the benefits of like more energy. So as soon as I've got a session, I'm saving my coffee this morning and just having one later in hopes that it has some sort of more of an effect on it. So yeah, just some orange juice and some porridge. Oh, and I always try to have a pint of water or I don't know how many milliliters that is. Uh, yeah, quite a lot of water in the morning before I eat. Um, just because you need to obviously drink a lot because your body's, what, 76, 75% water. So it's always good to get some water in first thing in the morning. I forgot to mention, training is at two o'clock, I believe. So it's a bit of a tricky one because obviously I tend to want to have lunch. So I actually try eating three hours before, two hours before and one hour before. Or even if, if it's like a bigger session, I eat three and a half hours before, two and a half hours before, one and a half hours before, and then like 45 minutes to an hour before. Um, so today I'm just going to eat three hours before, two hours before, and one hour before. So yeah, I'll obviously show you what I eat when I do that. So it's just gone 11 o'clock and now I'm going to get some bagels and maybe something else. Um, I've got a session in what, three hours time, so yeah. So I would just like to give a disclaimer before I show you what I'm eating now. Um, on the podcast, I've mentioned it before, how I eat a bit strange and also quite a lot. I've tried to cut down on my eating in the new year, um, see if I can sort of manage to eat a bit less, but it's still quite strange. So I've got plain cinnamon and raisin bagels. So two bagels. I've also got banana bread with coffee in it. Um, and also, it's not two o'clock now. I spent 30 minutes sitting on my phone watching TikToks. So yeah, it's like half past two. And yeah, just obviously some more water as well. But yeah, so banana bread with coffee and cinnamon and raisin bagels for those carbs. So, uh, firstly, it's the second session in a row where it's been in the snow, which isn't fun. Um, I had a banana, a coffee and some Garibaldi biscuits. Well, one Garibaldi biscuit. Uh, I haven't felt like I've eaten enough and I was in a bit of a rush. So I couldn't really film it, so I've already had a Garibaldi biscuit. I still don't really feel like I've eaten enough, so I guess I'll have to wait and see how I am. Um, just about to have three more Garibaldi biscuits and then get warmed up.
So I just finished the session, ended up doing 10K like steady around the track because uh, of the snow. And then we did six by 1K with 90 seconds recovery at like probably 258 average. Uh, it's pretty hard to run when it's snow. And then on the grass, we did the Ks in flats as well. So yeah, I didn't really fancy getting my dragonflies muddy. So I raced in, I ran in the on cloud flashes. So yeah, it's just freezing cold and it's horrible. So yeah. I'm gonna eat a banana now. I forgot that this was what the video was for. A horrible ripe banana. So it's like 40 minutes since I finished my warm down and I'm having beans and egg on toast. So I've got three eggs, a full tin of beans and three slices of brown bread. Um, yeah, don't judge me, it's nice. This is just for the carbs. Obviously I had a banana from some carbs as well straight after the session. And then I try and get quite a lot of protein in the carbs in um, within an hour. So obviously the bread sort of got carbs in and then the beans and egg got protein, etc. And obviously I've got some more water, but I've already finished it. So yeah. uh, I guess I have to give a reason why I'm having this. Um, it's trying to be a bit more educational. One of your five a day or whatever, just a healthy little snack. I'm craving some food. Thought I'd have an apple rather than a cho some chocolate because it's healthy. Oh, cold. I have got to film everything and I'm just editing a podcast and I want some chocolate, so I'm having some dairy milk. So yeah, probably not the best example, but you can eat chocolate from time to time, just as long as you do it in moderation, it's fine. Fresh one, it's really nice. So I've kind of regretting that chocolate now. Um, I'm just about to have my tea, it's or dinner tea, dinner, sorry. Um, anyway, I'm having, I'll just turn it around. My mum thinks she's a chef and tries to get, um, we get like delivered recipes with like steps in and how to make them. So these like truffle homemade chips, just out of potatoes, broccoli, which is an absolute superfood, and then chicken with like breadcrumbs on, which is also homemade. So not an interesting one, not a super healthy one, and also not a super unhealthy one. So yeah, um, it's just standard really. And like with every meal, I try to have some water, like a full, like 500 milliliters to a, a liter. And also I have, with tea, I have my iron tablet and my vitamin D tablet as well. Um, if anyone wants to eat this, I'll put the recipe, if anyone wants to eat this, I'll put the recipe in the description and just let me know if you try it, because it does look quite nice. And the chips. Maybe not. I don't know. I'll still leave it. I'll still leave it in the description. Unfortunately, because of me trying to come eating down, it gets to the end of the day and I start craving more food. And that creates a scenario, what's just happened, where I've decided to get more banana bread and more bagels. I did also actually have quite an early uh, dinner for me tonight, so that's probably why I'm still hungry. I did a session and it was freezing cold. I feel like that makes you burn more calories. I'm not sure if that's right. Might just be giving me excuses to eat my food, but either way, I'm absolutely starving. Always end the day with a pucker sleep time tea in uh, Little Miss Trouble from Mr. Men. Just helps me sleep, really. It's the only reason why I like it. It doesn't taste very nice. Sometimes I have green, sometimes I have green tea without caffeine, but I've opted for the sleep tea tonight because I'm not tired at all and I kind of want an early night because I've got a long run tomorrow. But yeah, this is what I finished the day off. Hope you've enjoyed. Don't know why I'm saying that because I'll probably do an outro. But yeah, cheers.